Hi everyone, we're here at IATEFL with Sarah Mercer, Professor of ELT at the University of Graz and the author of our fantastic Teacher Wellbeing Professional Development book. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm good. How are you, Chris? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How does it feel to be back at IATEFL in person? It feels wonderful. Yeah. It feels even better than I thought it would. It's just, um, I've enjoyed a lot of the opportunities that we've had with being online. You and I have spent time together online chatting and doing things, but there is something very special about meeting people in person. There really is. Yeah, and the, also the chance to have these interactions outside of the talks, um, in the coffee breaks, um, also going to the book exhibition, exploring what's being published at the moment. It's just a whole other dimension. It's lovely. It's wonderful to it, be back. It is great because last year was online and just being here with everyone else is just so much fun. It is, yeah. It is. Um, so you are the author of our fantastic teacher well-being book. I am um, with along, Tammy. Along with Tammy Gregerson. Yeah. Um, so I had a couple of questions for you okay. that hopefully our teachers will find useful. Um, so firstly, why is teacher well-being so important? Oh, goodness. Where do I begin? I think it's basically for me, it's the foundation of good practice. So you know yourself that if you're tired, if you're worn out, if you're overstretched, you just can't be as creative as a teacher. You just haven't got the patience for things. You, you fall back into routines, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you just haven't got that capacity. So paying attention to teacher well-being for me is the foundation of good practice. It helps you be in the best possible place to teach to the best of your abilities. So for me, it's, it's the basis of what we should be attending to, to empower teachers to be the best teacher they can be. Absolutely, absolutely. So I, I think it's such an important issue, but many teachers do struggle with it. I mean, yeah. teaching is such a stressful job. Sure. Um, what do you think one of the biggest challenges it is for teachers? Um, I think it's, I, I think like many people, and I think we're time poor, I think mm. is how we refer to it. So I think teachers have an enormous um, amount of demands on their time. There's a lot of things that they need to be attending to. There's admin, there's parents, there's the, the kids themselves, there's the marking, there's the preparation, there's actually being in class. So there's just a massive amount to do. So I think t uh, time poverty is an issue. Um, and I think um, after COVID, I think there are also a number of other issues coming into the classroom now that are um, changing a little bit the dynamics of what's going on in the classroom and also some of the expectations on teaching. And it's still a period of adjustment. Um, at the moment. And I think that is also quite stressful. There's new things happening, new things to deal with. Um, it's, 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 yeah, it's a new period of time, a new period of teaching, new opportunities and new demands. And I think there is still this adjustment going on at the moment. Absolutely. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Oh, here. yes, goodness. Um, just an example of, some, of something which wasn't a challenge for, to well-being before the pandemic and is now. Oh, do you know, I can probably talk about myself is that, that you have got these dual roles of all things going on online now. Now, mm. and you've got things happening in person and in the classroom and it's finding a synthesis between the two so rather than having two separate lives you've got to try and synthesize all the demands and the opportunities of being online but also then the demands of being in person and being in the classroom and we have some meetings are online for the broader community uh, some are then in person and um, when everything was online you didn't have the traveling but we've got the commuting the traveling going to the office um, so there's a lot of nice things about this variety but it is also quite demanding and there's um there's some adjusting taking place for me mm. certainly I, I can't speak for others but for me there's a little bit of adjustment going on as I try to um, find where my new balance is in these two worlds. Absolutely, I think yeah, it's it's we're still learning to navigate yeah. how everything is working. Yeah, and I think what you said about needing to unify things rather than having two separate lives yeah. is very important. Yeah. Um, okay, so amongst all this all this stress, um, do you have a top tip for teachers to help them improve their well being? Um, well, we're at IATEFL, so I think it's a fair thing to say that finding your tribe finding your community, mm. finding other teachers to inspire you, to give you ideas, to be there if you need a little bit of a whinge and a moan, but also to uplift you with positive stories, funny stories of things that have happened. So finding your tribe. And for me, I guess IATEFL is my tribe, my community. And uh, yeah, maybe that's uh, an appropriate tip for the moment. If you want to learn more about well-being, we've put together a great blog post with loads of tips and ideas. You can find the link down below. If you want to hear more from Sarah Mercer, she's written a great book on teacher well-being with Tammy Gregerson, one of our other authors. It's a really wonderful practical book with loads of great support and ideas to help you improve your well-being. If you want to hear more from us, please like and subscribe, or if you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell. Thanks everyone.